What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be talking about demo reels in 2020. And the reason why I say demo reels in 2020 and not just demo reels in general is because the game has completely changed. I mean, let's say back in the day, you know, I could probably put together a, a demo reel with maybe, you know, a few cycles, maybe a walk and a run cycle, an acting shot, and then possibly, um, let's see, maybe a two person dialogue shot and call it a day and I would get callbacks and at least get, get one interview. Nowadays, that's not gonna cut. If you have a walk cycle in your demo reel, um, you're dead in the water. It just is what it is. It's just not gonna cut it in, in 2020, in present day. We're coming with new, genera you know, new generation of consoles. Um, everything has just taken a, a complete turn for the better, right? The, 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 the competitiveness in the industry is on a whole nother level. All right. So if you think your little walk cycle, you think your run cycle is going to impress recruiters, you're going to be very, 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 very wrong. And here's the thing. I want people to understand this. It's like going to the doctor and asking the doctor, hey, do you know about the common cold? The doctor's obviously going to look at you like you're, you're crazy and be like, yes, I do. I'm a doctor. That is expected of you as an animator to know how to make a person walk, right? That's expected of you as an animator to know how to make a person run. Now, here's the thing. If you really, really, really want to put a few cycles on your demo reel, what you have to do is make them feel like they're not exercises, all right? Because exercises are exactly that. They're exercises to help you when it comes to animating a shot, right? You don't get full off of the app appetizer. You get full off of the main course meal. Do not conflate the two. Some many people, some of the actually some of the mistakes that I made earlier on, was putting exercises on my reel. Now, if you want to to composite in a way where it doesn't feel like an exercise, say you have a bunch of a walk cycle. Say you have a, a walk, uh, a brisk jog, and then a run, and then a sprint. Instead of showing all of those side by side together, what you can do is blend them in. What that does is that shows the recruiter, hey. He knows how to blend animations together. That's a skill that some animators don't have or don't even know how to do, all right? Especially coming into the industry. So if you can show someone, hey, going from a walk to a jog to a run to a sprint, and then on top of that, let's say on top of that, we, we, we add maybe a little story. On top of that, we maybe add a little camera movement, right? So you wanna get the most bang for your buck. If you're gonna do some of these walk cycles or these exercises, get the most bang for your buck. Show them that, hey, I can also do camera work. Show them that, hey, I can also do, you know, the animation tracks. Show them that, hey, you know, I can also tell a story through, you know, pantomime or through lim limited uh, movements. Now, when it comes to demo reels, the number one piece of advice I can give you, because many people want to ask, what time, what should I put on it? You know, how long should it be? Um, where should I send it to? All of that doesn't matter. The number one thing in your demo reel, if you take anything from this video, take this, and that is, you want to elicit an emotion. Now, out of all the emotions you can elicit, the two I would recommend are funny and cool. When you look at the Matrix, what do you think? That's cool. When you look at, I don't know, an IP man, a fight scene, what do you think? That's cool. When you look at some of these movies, you can just, you know, let's say, you know, Spider-Man 2, Doc Ock versus Spider-Man on the train. What do you think? That's cool. So when you look at something funny, you laugh, right? It, it makes you feel good. It releases really endorphins. And that's a great, great emotion to have someone come off of looking at your reel, right? Now, when it comes to time, many people want to say, you know, how long should it be? The time doesn't really matter. I want you to imagine this as a movie. Have you ever been in a movie and you're just like, you, you could be like five minutes in and you'd be like, oh my God, this is going to be a long movie. This movie is going to be just really, really bad, right? So that's the same thing with the demo reel. Have you ever come, you know, came across a movie where you're watching it and you're just like, yo, that movie was really good, it was so short. Turns out the bad movie and the good movie were the same time. But time flies, you know, when you're having fun. So it's the same thing for your reel. However, having said that, you know, the standard is usually anywhere from 60 to 90 seconds. I would argue that to make it a little shorter, because here's the thing, no one's gonna watch your entire reel. Please understand that. They're not, most of the time, they're not gonna watch your entire reel. So you have a very small, small window to make an impression. They can tell within the first few seconds whether or not you have what it takes to be at their studio, to be at their production house, be at whatever it is that they're working from, right? Their startup, okay? So you wanna make what, you know what the saying is, you wanna put your strongest work 
in the front. You want to front load with your strongest, strongest work, and even the ending, you want it to be good. You don't want it to, you know, completely just devolve as the time goes on. It's like, oh, that's a good piece. That's a medium piece. Oh, that's a bad piece. Now, going back to my previous point of funny and cool, that, that can mean a variety of things, okay? The, the cool could be the rig, all right? The rig that you're using. Because trust me, these recruiters see the same rig over and over and over again. That's why if you ever go to, uh, uh, you know, iAnimate or an Animation Mentor or Anim School or any of these other schools, you want to put some time and effort into making your rig, you know, modifying the rig in some way, okay? It, it, even if it's, it's something small, just modifying the rig in some way where it's, you know, a little more entertaining to the eye. Now, another thing that I would always recommend including is some type of quadruped animation. For me, I hate quadrupeds. I just, I just hate them. I don't know what to tell you. I can't, I can't, I can't stand animating quadrupeds. I, I can do it, but I can't stand it, right? Because when it comes to reference, it's like, yo, I, uh, like, I'm not a dog. I'm not a cat. I'm not a horse. Now, my last piece of advice is please know who you are sending your reel to, okay? Because if you're sending your reel to a gaming company and you have a bunch of acting shots, yeah, it may be great acting, but th th that's not what they do, right? Game companies focus mainly on b body mechanics. So obviously, make sure to put quality work on there, but really do as much as you can. If you're really good at camera work, well, do some great camera work. If you're really good at, you know, acting shots, well, you know, combine that with the great camera work. Do as much as you can well as an animator. You really want to show off your your skills because this is going to be your calling card. So anyways, guys, those are just a few thoughts and tips on creating uh, an animation reel in 2020. And I hope that helps. And until next time, guys, keep animating.